Hello everyone and welcome to the Exasperated Gentleman. In this video we are going to be installing Rybash for modding Oblivion. So I'm going to assume two things with this video. One is that you have Oblivion installed on your PC. If you haven't done that, now is a good time to do it. Number two is you have a Nexus Mods account. If you do not, you're going to want to go to nexusmods.com and you're going to want to set up an account on that website. Once those two things are done, you guys can come back to this video and you can pick up right where we left off. So what we're going to do now with both of those things done, we are going to run Oblivion. And this little pop-up is going to appear. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Options. And then it's going to auto-detect all of your hardware. So it auto-detects my graphics card. I want to run it at 4K, but you can pick any resolution you want. 1440, 1080, 720, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to want to leave anti-aliasing on none for the best performance. You can put it on any mode that you like. You're going to want to click the HDR setting so that the ENV works properly. You're also going to want to check the box distant landscape, distant buildings, distant trees. Once you've done that, you're going to want to click on ultra high. You're going to want to run this on ultra high graphics. It is going to revert your resolution back to a, you know, previous resolution. So you can just move it back to where you had it and click OK. Once you've done that, if this is a fresh install of Oblivion, you're going to want to hit play and then you're going to want to start a new game and you're going to want to watch the introduction until you get to character creation. Once you get to character creation, the game has made all the any files that it needs to for Rybash to detect the game. So once you've done that, you can exit out of the game and you can come back to your Nexus Mods page and you're going to go to Games Oblivion and then you're just going to type in Rybash and then this is going to pop up. And then what you want to do, you want to go to Files. You do not need to worry about Python source or standalone executable or this optional Python source. You're just going to download the main installer. Hit manual download. Once it is done downloading, you're gonna click on this arrow and just show in folder. And you're gonna right click the file that you just downloaded called Rybash. You're gonna run as administrator. Click yes. So this is the first page of the wizard. So when you hit this page, you're going to want to click next. And then you're going to want to hit install oblivion. If you have run Skyrim on your machine as well, it is also going to detect Skyrim. You want to leave that unchecked and just have oblivion checked. You're going to click next. This is where it will detect fallout. If you've run fallout on your machine, you want to leave all of those unchecked. You do not want to install it to extra locations and hit install. Okay, once it is completed, you can click next and you want to uncheck view readme and check oblivion. Hit close. Now it's going to open Rybash, and this is what's going to appear. You're going to have your Oblivion ESM, and then you're going to have all your DLC ESPs right down here if you have them installed. And once you see this page, you want to click the Installers tab. And then you're going to see a pop-up come up here, and it's going to want to initialize some things. Just click Yes and let it do whatever it's going to do. And then once you've done that, you can exit out. And once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to go to your Oblivion directory. So that's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Oblivion. And then if you open this up and you see this Mopey file, you know you have install, installed Rybash correctly. And that is all there is to it. You have now installed Rybash and it is ready for installing mods. If this video has been helpful to you, if you just uh, hit the like button, if you want more content like this, you hit the subscribe and bell notification button. We do videos, tutorial videos like this one. We also do live streams. We do uh, 
pre-recorded videos. And so if you want to be a part, just hit that subscribe and bell notification button. If you want to be part of a discord, if you need help with your load order or anything like that, there is a link down in the description and I will see you guys on the next one.